Hey YouTubers, it's me, Monkey Chicken Her, helping all your green gobs out there. Well, anyways, guys, today's video is going to be a game review on Bioshock Infinite. And let's start off with some information on the game. It's a solo only campaign, no split screen or co op. There is no multiplayer, and it is a rated M game. So, with that, let's move on to my review, which has five parts. First of which is campaign, which has three sections. First is length of the game. I have to give this a 10. Second is story slash plot also a 10, and thirdly is fun slash scare, and all over enjoyment is an enthusiastic 10. So overall, campaign is a 10 out of 10. Next part is multiplayer, which is not included because there is no multiplayer, so third part is gameplay, which has three sections, first of which is gun handlement, which includes power, magic, knives, or however you kill people, is getting a rating of 10. Second is player movement, which is also includes how you jump, walk, sprint, climb, roll, or how you interact with the world, is getting a 10. Thirdly is features of the game, which is unique to each game, for example, waypoints, stealth meters, or maps. I'm going to have to give this one a 9. So overall gameplay is a 9.5 out of 10. Fourth part is graphics and animations, which has two sections. First of which is graphics. I'm forced to give it a 10 out of 10. The game looked beautiful. Second is animations, which I'm going to have to give it a 10. I had no problems with any of the many animation that is in this game. So overall, graphics and animations is getting a 10 out of 10. So I like to use this last part of the video with a little bit of time I have left to explain my ratings, voice my opinions, and talk about the game. First is campaign. I loved it. I wish it could last forever. But with the time they used to make this wonderful game, they did a good job. And the story of the game is my favorite of all times. It is by far the best plot out there right now. There's, and there's so many little achievements and secrets that make you want to play this game over and over again. You're going to enjoy this game for a long time. Second is gameplay. I have two things to say about this. First of which is the guidance arrows they use to navigate the map it has issues with the plotting rails that is scattered all throughout this map. It just has quite a few amount of issues with it. Secondly is Elizabeth, which is your companion in the game, is one of the most useful and most helpful partners that have ever existed within a game. Her AI is absolutely amazing and she is just an awesome character to have with you. So with that, this game gets an enthusiastic 10 out of 10. This is one of the best games for this year. I highly recommend this game. If you're only getting a few games this year, make this one of them. So anyways, guys, we're reaching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. So like the video if you liked it or if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about me. Well, anyways, guys, I'm Monkey Dragon. That's all I really got. Peace.